Welcome to the World Summit on the Information Society 2017. My next guest here is Mr. Manoj Sinha, who is Minister of State for Communications, Independent Charge, and Minister of State for Railways, Union of India. Sir, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. So, I suppose the first question is, what role do ICTs play in sustainable development goals? See, ICT has become the focal point of sustainable development goals. Uh, regarding economy and society both, ICT has played a vital role, pivotal role, uh, whether it is health, education, financial inclusion, agriculture, any field you consider. I think ICT has enormous effect on the society, in poverty eradication, in education, health, everywhere. ICT has done a tremendous job and uh, it has connected far from area of rural people to the knowledge and uh, information societies can be changed in a knowledge society with the help of ICT and uh, sustainable development goals can be achieved easily with the use of technology, particularly ICT, and uh, it has enormous effect on the society and the particularly uh, rural people, deprived people, ICT has made a lot of changes in their life. So at the UN process level, uh, what efforts can be made together to link the sustainable development goals and WISIS, for instance? See, uh, WISIS is a platform of many stakeholders and uh, it is working with ITU and the edges of United Nations. So WISIS has an advantage also and uh, it has done a tremendous job. But uh, I feel that uh, ITU and WISIS should work in some more areas. Internet, though, it's the finest contribution to human society, but few people are misusing it for, say, terrorism and other purposes with the black and every type of arrangements. And ITU and VSS must consider this issue. And cross-border terrorism has become a serious threat to the society. And uh, VSS forum should consider it. Though we believe the openness of internet and multi-stakeholderism, which ITU has already taken, India supports it, but yes, of course, internet protocol must be discussed in the, in this session, so that the world knows and it cannot be misused. Mm. When used wisely, ICT can be a formidable force for inclusion and development. So can you give us some specific examples of efforts you are making in India in terms of ICT and SDGs? Yes, in, in the last three years, under the dynamic leader and un, uh, leadership of our Prime Minister, Mr. Modi, we have launched a Digital India program. It's an umbrella program and three important factors. One, to digitally empower every citizen. Second, governance. And third, everyone has equal right on this digital development. These three are the main focuses. And we have launched a program called BharatNet. And we are going to end this program by December 18. Already we have led to 104,000 kilometer of optical fiber and uh, we have connected 92 
थाउजेंड ग्राम पंचायत ग्राम पंचायत मीन्स क्लस्टर ऑफ विलेजेस एंड आवर टारगेट इज टू फिफ्टी थाउजेंड विलेजेस विल बी कनेक्टेड थ्रू दिस प्रोग्राम एंड अप्रॉक्सीमेटली सिक्स हंड्रेड मिलियन पीपल विल बी डिजिटली एम्पावर्ड बाई दिस प्रोग्राम मैनी मोर प्रोग्राम ऑफ फाइनेंशियल इंक्लूजन दैट इज जैम जनधन योजना मोबाइल एंड आधार आधार आई थिंक इट इज इंडिजनली डेवलप्ड बाई इंडिया एंड इट इज द बिगेस्ट प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ आइडेंटिफिकेशन बायोमेट्रिक्स द थर्ड वन वी हैव प्लग द होल्स एंड डायरेक्ट बेनिफिट ट्रांसफर्स वी हैव under such different schemes 30 billion dollars have been saved of the country and uh, that pradhan mantri digital sakshatra yojana we have launched then so many programs e gm to procure the government purchases so we are doing a lot in this regard and i think uh, in 2 3 years india has moved a lot lot of activities is going there and uh, as we believe vasudev kutumbakam we are ready to share our knowledge and the development with the rest of the world so that the fruits can be <laughs> better exercised by the humanity and uh, naturally we have taken a big leap in this regard and we will continue to do it pan africa project and so many projects we are running and we have assured to continue it for five more years mr manohar singha thank you very much thank you